Hey guys, welcome back to The Simple Game. Um, this is my quickie review on the new GameCoff Lite device. Um, if you guys haven't seen the unboxing, I go over what it comes with. But basically, in a nutshell, it is the same exact packaging in the sense that this, uh, this newer device has a Bluetooth technology in which you could transfer your information uh, by a Bluetooth to your phone or your laptop and re you know in regards to the first generation you had to wait until you got home and were able to transfer the information to your USB cable but um, I start out with the positive um, you know it's it's a very familiar device you know it has the same indicator lights the same on and off button the same ports on the sides so that would be my biggest plus of the device another plus would be the new color. I like it. It's a very burgundy uh, reddish color to it. Um, so it blends in very well. But um, let's get into the negatives. You know, it being the newer version and with the app, there seems to be a couple of glitches and a couple of uh, lag elements to it. You know, for example, I just played nine holes. And if I go to the device so you go to more then you go to settings and connect with live device have to turn it on first so um, there you go let's see how long it takes that's one thing about these game golf live uh, or game golf devices that it takes a while for them to uh, catch on to the cores because uh, the GPS um, tracking has to lock on to your location but you see it, it hasn't shown up yet so it's connecting it's paired with it um, it's great battery life on it I have to admit but um, you see it says I have three rounds on the device um, it's uh, syncing and transferring I tried this earlier I don't know why there's three Wednesday or today rounds on it. That's one thing on it. Um, earlier, when I finished the round and got to my car, I uh, tried syncing it to my phone and, you know, it, it transferred. It said it transferred, but I was never able to review it or even see it. It just never appeared on my phone again. I had my laptop on because I wanted to see if... Um, you know, I'm a little worried that the round might have gotten erased, but I want to see if I'm able to transfer it. But so you can see, it's taking forever to transfer. Um, it's not working too well. The best way to use this, this device, I learned uh, when I played, I think it was the 30th. So when I played on Monday, the best thing I, I've I've noticed about the device in regards to you know using it instantaneously or using it after a round you know transferring the information after the round is that if you use it instantaneously you play golf and then you have it paired and you start it's it's a lot it's a lot easier to use you know instead of having to wait and transfer it because it's automatically transferring it in a sense that it's not going to transfer a bulk of information it's when you use it live and instantaneous you know each shot is transferred immediately so it's a lot easier to see but today I was recording a course vlog so I wasn't keeping up with the round as I did on Monday um, but yeah you see it's it's let's see how long it takes for it to transfer um, and I'll get right back to you guys with it Okay guys, we're back. That was uh, four minutes later. Um, not too bad, but uh, for a uh, marketed instantaneous device, it sure took a lot longer than um, I was expecting. But here we go. This is uh, from today, Wednesday. I know I shot four over 40, but I can already see it says eight over. Um, I guess, you know, I'm going to take back a little bit on what I was saying on the device. I think my biggest gripe has to be with the app on the iPhone. You know, I've had to delete it twice already. Once, it wouldn't let me um, change it from meters to yards. And two, it was just bugging up the first time I was trying to use the game golf. On Monday, it was working absolutely fantastic. But today, I can already see that it's a bit buggy, especially when I was in the car 
it was acting up on me. So uh, let's get to it. it. Says another round under your belt. Let's uh, review it. This is for today. Um, okay, so yeah, I can see what's going on. You know, I, I tagged the three wood twice. So um, it, it definitely seems that I have to go in and um, and review my round and uh, see what needs to uh, what needs to change. But um, I'm gonna do this very quickly, and I'll get right back with it. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I had to go to class, so it's nighttime. That's why it's not so bright. But um, yeah, so I fiddled around with it. I was able to uh, review my round. And um, what I can say is, um, you know, the device is very, very reliable. But um, I guess it's the app I have the biggest gripe with. I mean, all in all, the device functions just like first generation just as I have to reiterate it's a uh, Bluetooth enabled which can transfer the information but every shot was transferred successfully um, it was eight over because there were uh, four times that I tagged extra so I was able to clean them off and um, yeah the, the tag picked up you know picked up everything so um, you know, for, for the quick review, I have to say that I am super, super stoked about the new Game Golf Live device. I'm going to come up with a one month uh, full review. I have two rounds under my belt with this device. I should be able to get, uh, you know, between two to five more before winter really hits here in Cookville, Tennessee. But um, yeah, for the quick review, I have to say definitely pick it up. It's a thumbs up. Um, device is very reliable. After two hours of charge time, you get 10 hours of gameplay. And after two rounds, I still have 44%. So um, that's awesome. And that's especially with me uh, recording course vlogs that are taking me two and a half hours uh, each now. So yeah, what I can say is my average uh, nine hole round is about um, an hour and a half. So, you know, successfully you can get about six plus rounds on this before or nine whole rounds before you have to recharge it so um yeah i mean uh i'm thinking about giving away my first generation um game golf device is the non-bluetooth enabled but um it'd be a free gimme you know it's totally used all the tags would be used but let me know down uh, on the comment section below if you guys would be interested in uh, receiving one of these and definitely if this video receives 100 likes or 1,000 views, we'll definitely throw this up on the table. But um, yeah, you know, all I can say is it's definitely a great device. App is a little iffy. Um, I'll probably do a separate review on the Game Golf app. But um, you know, hit me up with any comments or suggestions or any questions. Um, hit me up. Hit me up on uh, Facebook. My name is Julio Dotel, D-O-T-E-L, and um, yeah, I'll come up soon with a one month or at least five rounds full review of the game golf live device thank you guys for watching mm -hmm.